namaste good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you may be across the planet around the world welcome to the mid month energy report for my patreon followers of 1111 or more my name is greg prescott from in5d.com i want to welcome everybody here on youtube as well you'll be seeing the first part of this and then i'll be cutting over to the patreon part of this entire broadcast I've been doing some uh, new changes on Patreon. I have this mid-month energy report that I'm starting as of this month, May 2019. I'm also doing an exclusive article every month for Patreon followers of 555 or more, as well as on top of uh, the behind the scenes videos and the afterthoughts videos and all of the articles being released ad free the day before on patreon so if you're not part of the patreon family join us and i'll leave a link below right here a quick thing i want to talk about first and this has been an ongoing thing for about at least a year it's leaky ear i've had this leaky ear for at least a year and what it is is it's this it's like a clear discharge from your ear or ears, in my case, both ears. And it happens all, all the time, except for example, when I'm at the beach, I don't, it dries up at the beach, but when I'm here, it's, yeah, I get it, especially at night. What I have is one of those travel pillows, like those horseshoe shaped travel pillows. And uh, I'll put my, my ear on the inside part of it. So it's not like, for example, if it was up against a pillow, you would hear that squishing kind of sound from the pressure and the suctioning. So I don't get it with those little horseshoe pillows, but man, I wish I could just sleep on my regular soft, comfy pillow instead of having to use this horseshoe pillow, which I'm using. Aluna Ash talks about the leaky ear. She says that is one of the ascension symptoms. And I know that there's a lot of people out there. I've brought it up a, num a number of times and a lot of people out there also are experiencing leaky ear. Are you experiencing leaky ear? What are you doing about it? Leave a comment below. I want to mention too all the articles that I'll be mentioning in this video you can find below in the more info section. I want to go on to talking about the high pitch frequencies. And today's high pitch frequency was in the key of C minor, which is the root and the sacral chakras. We have several uh, seven chakras the root and the sacral are your base two the lower three are the root the sacral and the solar plexus and then you have your upper level chakras which is the heart the throat the third eye and the crown chakra so for the third day in a row today we had the high pitch frequency of c minor c minor is a cusp frequency and what does that mean a cusp frequency is and i'll show you real quickly on the guitar Okay, specifically today, today's high pitch frequency is that, okay? So here is the C minor right there. It's on the A string, the second string down, fourth string in, or fourth fret in. So the C is right here, third fret, and I've got to lean back a little. And then up here is the D. So the C sharp cusps the C and the D, so it has both of those energies to it. Similar to, for example, if you were born on, say, July 21st, yeah, you probably have a cusping astrological sign, zodiac sign, of Leo and Virgo. And you probably have a little of each of those energies going on. This is very similar to that. So today's high-pitched frequency is the C sharp. It's the sixth time that we've heard this high pitch frequency this month. Also, it's the third day in a row we've also had this uh, high pitch frequency. The beginning of the month started out with the first, I'm looking at the chart right now, it's on the computer behind me. The first, in the first six days, we covered all seven chakras, uh, which, which included, for example, on May 1st was the B, crown chakra may 2nd was d the sacral chakra and the solar plexus d sharp i'm sorry uh, may 3rd was g sharp the throat and third eye uh, may 4th was the root and sacral 
as well as May 5th. And then May 6th was the heart and throat. So you can see how we had all seven chakras covered within six days. So that's pretty unusual. I found it very interesting too, because we are receiving these high pitched frequencies. Not everyone will hear them. Some people actually feel them. For example, if it is a B and it's the crown chakra, you might not hear that high pitched frequency of the crown chakra, but you'll feel the tingling on your scalp. Or if it's the heart chakra, you might have like heart palpitations or something along those lines. Not everyone hears them, but some people actually feel them. One thing I want to cover also is what I'll be putting out on our YouTube channel in the next upcoming days. I have some a new program that I found that works really well with the high pitched frequencies. So I'm going to be putting those out uh, in a video where you can hear specifically those those high pitched frequencies even better than the video I already have. So that's going to be new and uh, I'll be putting the, uploading that hopefully within the week we'll get that done. And the other thing is I'm going to be doing a new mantra video and basically all the mantra is is and this is something I say at the beach when I go for my walk. I am love. I am light. I am pure source energy. Say it with me. I am love. I am light. I am pure source energy. And when you say that, you can almost feel your body lifting and filling full of light. Your head becomes a little bit held, held a little bit higher. You have that inner confidence within yourself that you are pure source energy. You are love. You are light. So I'll be making a one hour mantra video with ambient music in the background for that. And I should hopefully be uploading that to YouTube within the week as well. So that's going to be something new uh, for our YouTube subscribers. One thing I want to point out too is we still have ad space available on in5d.com. You can find a link to it right here on the main menu or you can click this one, this is available, shows up on every page on In5D, as well as this one, and we have one down here as well. So if you're a healer, you, you have a service or a product uh, that you'd like to sell on In5D, get in touch with me. Click the link, advertise on In5D, or click one of the photos, and it'll show you how. It's real simple. What you can do, too, is you can even add a tagline right above like right here you were brought here to make a difference in this lifetime as well as your image and the url that it goes to now i was checking yesterday on in5d we had close to 47,000 people that visited in5d yesterday it was actually 46,800 people so you're going to be reaching a lot of people uh, it, when, when you decide to advertise on N5D. I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger while I'm doing that. In the news today, we see this. Solar activity increasing. Symptoms and effects. This is huge because there was a uh, G3 geomagnetic storm that came through that's hitting us right now. As you're watching this video, it's coming in. They said that it's so powerful that you may even see the Aurora Borealis as low here in the United States as Illinois and Oregon. So it's a pretty powerful geomagnetic storm that's going on right now. And what happens is there's a crack in the Earth's magnetic field that allows these solar, solar storms to come through. And that allows for the Aurora Borealis effect to happen in places much lower than they would normally be seen. So you gotta think too, while we have this crack in the Earth's magnetic field. We're also entering the photon belt right now. We're on the outer edges of it. We're, we've actually entered it probably the late 80s, early 1990s. That's when the sun went from yellow to white. And as we're in this photon belt, while the, there's a crack in the Earth's magnetic field, it's allowing for even a greater influx of photons 
to be coming in. So it's not surprising that today's high pitch frequency is a C sharp with the root chakra and the sacral chakra telling us to ground. Because when you have all this energy coming in, you got to put it somewhere. It's why you have to have a ground on electricity. <laughs> you know, we have all this energy coming in, ground, ground it, ground it within yourself and uh, you'll be okay. Try to meditate too, uh, if you can. Uh, focus on those energies and see what you have. Now, if you're in a climate that is not conducive to getting outside and grounding, and maybe it's raining, maybe it's snowing where you live, you might want to consider getting something like, uh, like this. This is Shungite, uh, both of them. And just holding on to a, gr a good grounding stone. It could be black tourmaline. It could be obsidian. You know, whatever it is that you decide, just grab it and hold on to it and use that for grounding. You don't necessarily have to go outside, but it's always best if you can, preferably barefooted. <laughs> That's what I have here right now on N5D on the YouTube channel. I'm going to be cutting over to Patreon and I'm going to be covering the uh, first half of the month of May 2019 uh, for the energy report, but you're up to date on what's going on right here, right now, today with this geomagnetic storm. I encourage you to join us on Patreon. I want to thank everyone for joining us here on YouTube. Uh, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll be back soon on here on YouTube uh, with those two new videos of the high pitch frequencies and the mantra of I am love, I am light, I am pure source energy. So sending you all infinite love and light here on YouTube. Until the next time, this is Greg from N5Ds signing off. Take care.